the general. Nice to meet you. What are you selling today? Today I'm bringing you a cannabis infused chocolate company, but with a cause. Did you bring a business model for us? No. You know, it's one of the requirements to come in as a business model. Did you bring a business model today? I sure did. And check it out real quick. Yes. What do you need us for? Okay, let me rephrase this. What's in it for my wallet? Right, I'm calling bullshit. What is a colored flavored weed? All right, so you're looking for 850,000 for what yes. stake of the company? 15%. What's the sales okay. based off? You said 48 million over the next four years with zero current sales. Help me reconcile those two. All right, so okay. it sounds like this is a nonprofit or is this for profit? No, this is, we are uh, not hiding the fact that we are a for profit company with a cause. Well, thank you very much. We wish you the best of luck, sir. Yeah, thank you. This all came relevant to me um, on a couple different levels. For one, I watched my dad pass away about nine years ago and at the end of his cancer, uh, his terminal cancer, he was using cannabis to uh, help him. It comforted him, he, he was able to eat, he was, it really helped him out. And I watched that firsthand. I had this moment of clarity where I just realized that this is medicine and we need to make sure it's available to people that need it at zero cost, it's not covered by insurance. And so I had this epiphany of, we need to give it away. And so I started this company, Cannabis for Cancer, and since then, it's just been rolling. Hey, Joaquin. Welcome, Joaquin. Hello, Hi. how are you? Awesome. Good. Good, good. So my name is Joaquin. I've started this company, C4C, Cannabis for Cancer. It's a, a cannabis-infused chocolate company with a cause. We're basically bringing a one-for-one -one model, business model, similar to that of Tom's Shoes to the industry, where for every high-end cannabis-infused chocolate bar we sell, we give, no strings attached, one dose of medical-grade cannabis oil to a cancer patient for free. You know, my name's Big Sal. I'm actually Colorado's medicated chef. I do a lot of medicated foods. I'm also a master grower, an infusions master, and an award-winning edibles maker. I've actually had my uh, chocolate salty balls. I've actually won four awards already. I actually want to start an edibles company and start doing my chocolate salty balls, as well as I want to start a TV show called The Top Secret Medicated Cookbook. Greetings, everyone. My name is Kristen Gemma Rostar D. Ferdinando. You call me Gemma for short. Um, I'm a mother of two beautiful girls, this being one of them. Miss Lisa. Lisa, welcome. This is a friend Hi. of ours. Hi, Lisa. Have you heard the news? There's a new doctor in town, and she is making a new brand of bitters. But watch out, these aren't your grandma's bitters. <laughs> these are Dr. Red Canna bitters, made in a traditional way of bitters but with a new modern day twist. They incorporate high quality cannabis, 100% organic herbs, and they're infused with high quality alcohol. So my idea is a convenience food delivery service phone app. It utilizes technology that's already on trend, such as Uber and Lyft. Um, if you've ever used those technologies, you have Facebook, you see the picture of the person who's gonna come and pick you up. It's the same thing. So it's pretty simple, just a phone app and go in convenience stores and you know, just Susie Q's on her way home and hey, I wonder if anybody in my neighborhood need some extra groceries. <laughs> I had the Big Sal's medicated barbecue, which was the first ever. Mm. Uh, total success. We had uh, money to go towards child's uh, epilepsy here in Colorado. Oh, nice. So, you know, the community gives to me, so I give back to the community. In just one year, with a few hundred dollars and a product called Buddha Bar, together we rock a hundred dispensaries. This section of the industry is big and growing. We know that. You know, the majority of our competitors are either limited and experience in either one of the industries, either food or cannabis. What's lacking in this uh, industry is a truly cause-driven company as C4C. We, with decades of experience in both industries, it's our team and it's our marketing plan that's gonna separate us from our competitors. This was me back then. <laughs> a little crazy and wild. But what I'm curious about is you wrote that you don't have permits or licenses yet? Well, what the permits and licensing is actually when I get into a physical major kitchen and actually start the full company. I haven't started Big Sal's Chocolate Salty Balls through a company. It's always been through private stuff. So are you selling your salty balls illegally? I give everything away. I've had 20 years experience in this industry, studying this industry. Our chocolatier has 20 years of experience flying around the world in search of the best cacao. Our production manager is the Willy Wonka of this industry with nearly 20 years of producing cannabis-infused products. They offer a low-calorie, quick dose of marijuana 
and they come in five unique flavors. They can be put into your coffee, tea, juice, water, cocktails. You can even put them under your tongue. You can do what you want. The issue is I have no idea what you're pitching to us. Okay, this is what I'm pitching to y'all now. Okay. So do it I got a new company, it's called Budalicious, Buddha Bite Light. It's an energy bar, it's got 10 milligrams of ketamine. You can eat the whole thing and function. All right? It's Yay! organic. All right? It's gluten free, refined sugar free. It's recreational, medical, marijuana's industry, new household name in edibles. Budalicious. We're, we'll have a product in the dispensary. Our give, where we give um, for free, will be oil. And, and just the idea of, of getting a medical product to market. You have to go through the licensing process before you have a viable product. But if you're not focused on the on the salty balls, basically, um, then essentially if you were to do a cookbook, you can do that. You can do a cooking show as long as you're in a private residence. I, I'm imagining now. I'm not a lawyer, so I can't tell you what you can and can't do, but I don't see that there'd be any problem with doing a, a show. You'd need a wholesale deal where you're retailing, basically, and, and then getting a fee on top of it. And I like the idea of uh, senior citizens or elders. I think that's good, too. So we'll, we'll look through this. I think it's good. It's good. It's and, good. And thank you for yeah, the thank business you. plan. I really appreciate <laughs> we it. We really do appreciate it. So do you have the chocolate bars? Uh, we, it's a California-based company. I do not have chocolate bars here. Okay. That would be illegal. I love that it's gluten-free because a lot of people, like Wendy said, can't have sugar. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so the natural ingredients is really appealing. Depending on dosage, in between $15 and $20 in our cogs is $2.62. $2.62. There's a nice spread. Yeah, that's yeah. good. I like hearing that. I like that a lot. Um, I like your experience. I like that you're cause-based. We're yes. cause-based too, so we yes. like uh, paying it forward, and that's one of the things we're going to teach the entrepreneurs. Uh, awesome. So that's awesome. Yeah, if you want to yeah. taste these ones, these are in the demand. I'm going to tell you something. I, I think from a marketing standpoint, what I like most about it is it doesn't look like a kid's snack. So okay. this is the biggest issue in edibles yes. right now. And you holding your baby doesn't hurt, but you're aware of that <laughs> yes, issue. Yes. Um, and I, that's really brilliant. This looks like an energy bar. It doesn't look like, uh, that's, if I laid that out, my kids would avoid that. I see we'll something different We'll try to incorporate for you. you, but we're not sure about the licensing thing, but we'll uh, talk With about it. With the MIPS tag. Yeah, the oh, that's at the MIPS Oh, I know. So is that okay? Oh, whatever you guys want to do, that's Thank fine. You. Awesome. Right. Thank, Thank you. Awesome. All right. Thank you, Big Sal. And these two are gifts as well. Awesome. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Gemma. Appreciate yeah, it. Awesome. Yay, Thank you. Good job. Good job. I like the presentation. I love the presentation. We would like to call you back. We'd like okay. to call you back Great. then. Thank so you. Three, three, you are called back. I'm called Woo. back. Woo. So, yep. no, I like it. I just have an issue with the licensing. Not having the licensing, but I still think I'd like to hear more later. Me too. We'd like to have you come back for callbacks. Yep. Awesome. And awesome. we do Thank want you. you to think about your licensing process okay. and how that would um, apply to national uh, distribution. Absolutely. Great. Thank awesome. you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate Thank you. it. I wasn't nervous, man. I know this stuff. Uh, this is happening. This was. This is happening with or without. I am, you know, doing this. So just knowing that, having that confidence of knowing the material. Well, I think it went really well. I got called back for later on this afternoon for the challenge, and I'm really excited. The audition. There were a lot of questions, um, but. All in all, I think it was fun. Well, it was good to get my first two minute pitch out. I'd never done that. You know, it's cool because they really like that aspect of it, how it's healthy and it gets people high in a good way and not in an addictive way. You know, they gave me some good information and I felt like they were excited about my product. Thinking about my grandma and the pain that she had to go through as a cancer patient makes me wish that medical marijuana was available when she was going through it just 10 years ago. Well, I'm just really excited about this opportunity. I appreciate uh, Karen and Wendy coming up with this idea and I'm looking forward to the next step. This whole experience has been great and I cannot wait to see what happens.
form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity.